Hi everyone, and welcome to this new video. A couple of weeks ago, a good friend of mine, who is a Judy Garland collector, who you can follow on Instagram as the Garland Archive, asked me to reproduce a blouse that was worn by Judy in Easter Parade. Um, as he had the suit, but the blouse that came with it isn't the one that's worn with it in the film. We used the blouse that came with the suit to take measurements and look at design elements to make sure that we were going along on the right route with the blouse that we were doing. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you all again very soon. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, it really, really helps. And I hope you enjoy watching me make this blouse for a suit of Judy Garland's from Easter Parade. The costumes for Easter Parade were designed by Irene and she had taken over the running of the wardrobe department at MGM after Adrian left in the early 40s. Irene was a fashion designer rather than coming from a costume background and this is really evident in a lot of her costumes. You can see a lot of the 1940s elements in her designs and also the fabrics that she uses for her costumes, even her period costumes, are fabrics that were very fashionable in the 1940s. You see a lot of crepe, both in silk and wool, silk jersey, crepe de chine, satin back crepe, um, they're all there and these are fabrics that are more of a fashion fabric rather than a costume fabric um, rather than if you were working with someone like Plunkett who is a master when it comes to costume, period costume. Um, so this blouse is really quite simple. All the blouses that Judy Garland wears under her suits are all basically the same blouse design but with different design elements. So there's one which has um, a pointed collar and a pinned up front that she wears with the brown suit. This one which she wears with the gold suit has a shawl colour um, and then the one that she wears with the red and black suit has um, black buttons up the front but they are basically all the same construction and it's quite a simple blouse, very 1940s. Uh, just two fronts, a back, short sleeves and a collar facing. As you can see, um, watching this video you can see me cutting them out and here I am sewing them all up. The fabric that we used for the blouse was a heavyweight silk crepe de chine and for the interfacing for the collar I used a silk organza because I didn't know what they used in the 1940s so I wanted something quite light but something that would also give it structure. Um, so. Yeah, it's a very simple blouse, as you can see. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Here you can see me sewing in the sleeves. Um, so the construction now is nearly over, and I don't want to talk anymore because we're now getting into the reveal. So I'll talk to you all again very soon. The waist on these blouses are gathered, and then they are attached to a Petersham waistband on the inside, which you'll see me doing in a second. And then the skirts of the suits then hook onto this and it anchors it all down. So now really I am finishing this time. Hope you look forward to the reveal and I'll see you again soon. Bye. And now that she is finished it's time to get her off to America so that you can see it with the suit.